Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't think I can top my last intro. Does sex sell? Now, in my last video, I started with a depiction of myself masturbating. Link in the description below. And that video garnered the second most number of views that any of my videos have ever had in a 24 hour period. Up until the date of this video, that is. And that got me thinking. Does sex, or at least the allusion to sex, really sell? So let's take a look at the figures. At the time of putting this video together, my masturbation video had 210 views, according to YouTube Studio. But the average view time of the video was a little over two and a half minutes for an 11 minute video. This would tend to suggest the viewers were tuning in for the sex and dropping out for the valuable educational component. But maybe that could just be me. I mean, people may not want to tune in to a 40 something intersex trans woman getting her jollies on YouTube. Although, the dislike to like ratio, we tend to suggest that that wasn't true. Maybe it's a case that outside of being a sex object, I'm just not that interesting. That hypothesis could certainly have merit given the limited number of viewer interactions in the comments. Or maybe I'm just not a good example of market forces at play in selling a product with sex. I mean, given that it wasn't strictly my intention for the video, and I played it more for comedic effect. So was I really using sex to sell? So let's dig a little bit deeper. A meta-analysis of sex and advertising by Wirtz, Sparks and Zimbas in 2017 looked at over 80 studies, including some 17,000 participants to try and find some answers to this question of does sex sell? In their study, they looked at the influence of style of dress, sexual behavior, innuendo, or sexual embeds, which is where hidden messages or images are placed within the ad, like the word sex added somewhere in the picture, just to see how this affected both men and women's responses to sex in advertising. Similar products were compared with the results from products that use sex to sell compared to those that didn't. And the study came to some very interesting conclusions. First off, by and large, both men and women tended to remember the advertisements that used sex to sell their products. However, unless the product being sold actually had something to do with sex, like for example condoms, people tended to remember only the ad, but not the product that was being sold. So for all the effort the companies went to to create a memorable and sexy advert, people were only remembering the ad itself and not the product the company was trying to sell. Secondly, the actual consumer response to the sexy advertisements wasn't what the advertisers thought. While sexy ads might be called a modest hit with men with a reasonable positive mean differentiation, women on a whole were negatively predisposed to sex in advertising, with couples showing only a minor interest in it. And this was consistent, regardless of the gender and sexiness of the people in the advert. On top of that, the public's general feeling towards brands that use sex to sell products was negative. Lastly, when looking at the overall question of whether or not sex actually increased the sales of the advertised products significantly, it seemed that sex didn't really sell. But it didn't really seem to hurt either, with the deviation from the mean being practically zero. With one exception, if the product being sold and the type of sexual message used to sell it were not compatible there was a shown negative effect on the product sale. So in this case, sex not only didn't sell, it was actually detrimental to the product. So what have we learned from this? Sex, unless it's aimed at a sex-based product, 
doesn't really sell all that well. In fact, if you're not careful about the product or video that you're trying to sell with your sexy shenanigans, it may actually be detrimental to your brand. Now, lucky for me, my little bit of sexiness did match the topic I was talking about. And I'm not really trying to sell a product as much as trying to educate and provide entertainment, which I feel I did. But you may have an entirely different opinion. And you know what? That's fine. It's fair. And I respect that. But rather than keep that to yourself, why not talk about this below in the comments? Because I think we are far from seeing the end of sex in advertising. And I haven't even touched on his sex and advertising demeaning and sexist, which is obviously a very big topic. So please keep the discussion going. Now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And please, please, try not to choke on the selfie stick. <laughs>